Do you wanna add some dank beats to your streams or recordings? Well, lucky for you in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to add Spotify into your OBS studio. So that way you can add some cool music for your streams and recordings. If that sounds good to you, drop a quick like on this video so other streamers can find this video. And honestly, I can't think of a little joke that I haven't used a thousand times. So let's just jump into it. So the first thing that we obviously need is OBS studio. And if you're wondering where I got this cool starting soon BRB scene, I actually got it in my streamer starter pack and I got that linked in the description down below. So once we have OBS studio, we're also gonna need Spotify. Now now you can either run Spotify through like a Google Chrome browser like I'm doing now, or you can download the Spotify app, but I'm gonna be doing both in this video. So whichever one you wanna use, you can feel free to use it because I'm gonna show you how to do both. So we'll first start off with the Google Chrome window. If you guys didn't know, I actually make electronic dance music. So we'll be listening to one of these just to show our audio levels inside OBS. So let's play this track and hop in OBS. So as you can see here, we're in OBS studio and it's got my mic picked up and my desktop audio picked up. So if you don't see your desktop audio, you can go to the bottom right corner where it says settings and then we're gonna go to the audio tab. And so you're gonna be able to choose your desktop audio device here with, I'm using these speakers, but if you don't wanna use desktop audio, then I'm gonna show you another method, but just in case you guys wanna use this method, this is the easiest. Because if you're using your desktop audio, it's just automatically going to pick up all of the computer audio that's coming out of your speakers. So in this case, if I'm playing stuff through Chrome or if I'm playing a game, it's just gonna pick up everything through this one channel. Now, if you wanna separate it and you want to actually have more control over it, that's totally fine too. But for right now, we're gonna have our desktop audio and our microphone selected. So then we're gonna hit OK. And now we obviously have our Spotify music coming through our desktop audio for our audience. But let's say that we don't wanna use desktop audio because we wanna separate our audio sources. All we have to do is one, mute desktop audio. So now our stream is not going to hear it through our little OBS. But now how are we actually going to get it in OBS so we can separate stuff? The first thing that we gotta do is go to the sources and hit the little plus button. And then we're gonna do application audio capture beta. If you do not see this, it's one of two things. Number one, go to the top where it says help and then do check for updates and make sure you're on the latest update. And number two, you might be using a Mac. And honestly, I don't own a Mac, so I can't really help out with that. But I've heard that might be the issue. But once you've troubleshot that, hit the plus button, go to application audio capture beta. We're going to call this one Spotify. I'm going to call it Google Chrome just because I'm going to show you how to do both because they are a little different. So we're going to hit OK. And then now we're going to find the window, which is Google Chrome right here. So we're going to hit that and then hit Okay, now you can see that we are getting audio through our Spotify Google Chrome audio little track here. So this is going to be sent to our stream because we have right below it, these little cog wheels, click on that. Then we're going to go to Spotify Google Chrome and you can see that all six audio tracks are selected. So this is where it gets a little complicated. So basically these are the six audio tracks, right? I'm gonna quickly close out of this. We're gonna go to our settings in the bottom right. And the very first one we're gonna look at is output. And real quick, this is post editing, Cody. If you guys aren't able to change your settings under the output tab, you're going to want to first go to the stream tab after this recent update and just disable enhanced broadcasting right here because if we apply it, you'll now see under the output, you can't really change anything here because it is controlling some of the stream settings. So if you want to go and continue what we're doing in the video, you're going to have to go to stream and just disable that, hit apply. And then now you can see all the settings are available here, but just make sure that you change your output mode from simple to advance to be able to see exactly what I'm seeing in the video. But let's go back. So for this track right here, audio track one, this is all of my stream audio that's going to be sent to Twitch or whatever platform I'm streaming to. So that means that as long as the Spotify audio is checked for track one, it's gonna be sent to our stream. Now, if you're using the Twitch VOD track, which means anything that's on track six will be included in our Twitch VOD after we end our stream, which means if you're playing copyrighted music, then you're not gonna want it on track six. Now I cover the Twitch VOD track feature in a much more clear and concise way. I'll show you that at the end of the video, but for right now, just stick with me. But if you're using the Twitch VOD track, then we're going to hit OK. We're going to go to the little advanced settings underneath the audio mixer, and we're going to take it off whatever your Twitch VOD track is, because we don't want that on the VOD. So I'm going to uncheck six, which means it's now on all audio tracks minus the sixth one. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. We're going to hit close. We're going to go back to settings in the bottom right, and then we're going to go to the output tab and go to the recording tab. So these are the people that are going to be recording videos. I have my audio track set to two and three, which means I'm recording on two audio tracks to separate my game audio from my actual microphone audio. So I have my microphone sent to track two and my game audio sent to track three, or it might be vice versa. I'm not sure, but we can confirm that by going to the okay and then going back to the advanced audio settings. So we have our desktop audio, AKA our game audio. But in this case, since we are not using our desktop audio, we'd have to go and do the same thing for our game capture. So 
theoretically, let's just say that we have a game open, right? We're playing golf with friends. We're gonna go and do the same exact thing we did for Spotify, Google Chrome, and we're gonna go into application audio capture. We'll call this game audio, hit okay. And then you're gonna find your game from this list. You'll select that thing and then hit okay. And then it's gonna add your game audio there. Now keep in mind, you're gonna have to do this for all of your different scenes if you don't wanna use desktop audio because desktop audio just combines everything into one, which is nice. But if you want more control, obviously you're gonna have to do something a little more complicated like this. Now, obviously I don't have a game open right now and that was just a dummy thing. But if we switch to the BRB scene, you'll notice that both of our little application audio captures are gone. So that means that depending on the scene that you're using, you can make your audio capture a little bit more precise. So if you wanted to add it, we can simply go to add new, application audio capture beta. We can add existing game audio, and then the same thing we can do for the other one as well. So Spotify, Google Chrome. But now you have both of those audios in both of these scenes. So keep that in mind if you're splitting up the audio like we're doing right now. And a couple of notes for you guys is that if you're playing the Spotify through Google Chrome or a browser, whatever audio you're playing through Google Chrome or your browser will also come through this source. So if you're watching some things you shouldn't be watching on stream while playing you know, Spotify music through the same Google Chrome window, it's gonna pick it up. So that's why if you really want to be careful, I recommend downloading the Spotify app, which I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to go to Spotify. I'm going to go to install app. I'm going to get the free app. I'm going to download directly from Spotify. And then I'm going to run the installation process from the download I just got. So I just downloaded the Spotify app and you're going to notice something very interesting here. Once you have both the Google Chrome window and the Spotify app, you'll notice this little green bar down here. And it actually says playing on web player Chrome because it's not going to play out of both the application and the Chrome window at the same time. So if we go and we actually set this up in OBS, you'll notice that the audio capture is still going through Google Chrome. If we wanted to add another one, application audio capture, we'll call this one Spotify app. All right, we'll add that Spotify app. We're gonna pick the Spotify app from the list, which is, why can't I see it? Right here, Spotify.exe, hit okay. And then you'll notice it's not playing through the Spotify app. That's because it's still playing through the Google Chrome window. So in order to fix that, we're gonna go back to the Google Chrome window. And honestly, we can just close out of this tab. So I'm gonna close out of this tab. And now since the tab is closed, Closed. We're just going to go and play music through the actual app. So now if I minimize this, there's not the green banner anymore because there's not multiple instances of Spotify up, but now you can see it's coming through the Spotify app. So that way, if you're worried about, you know, other things coming through your browser, playing it the lazy way, like I do, you can simply use the Spotify app, but just know that this is how it's going to be set up. And I know this is a little in depth, but I want to make sure you guys truly understand what's going on here under the hood. So like I said, if we go to the advanced audio settings beneath it, we got the Spotify app. You can do the same thing for the audio tracks because if we're using that twitch vod feature we're not going to want it on whatever track we have it set to so in this case six was selected but if you also don't want it on your recordings then you're gonna have to uncheck it on whatever you have selected for your recordings so if you just want your mic and your game audio then you can make sure that those are set up correctly which is like so so game audio second track mic audio is on just the third track and then everything's sent to our stream track on one now i know this can be very overwhelming and i breezed over a lot of kind of complicated topics in terms of separate audio. So if you're still a little confused, watch this video to the side of me. It's going to hold your hand every step of the way, way more in depth and make a lot more sense. But my name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.